You're using AI completely wrong and it's costing you views. Every day, thousands of creators dump their entire video brief into ChatGPT, expecting it to spit out viral content. Instead, they get generic garbage that sounds like it was written by a robot having an existential crisis. Here's what they don't tell you. There's a hidden limitation built into every AI model that makes it physically impossible to process all the information you're giving it. And when you overload this limit, the AI doesn't just start to fail, it starts making stuff up. I'm going to show you what this limitation is and how you can take advantage of it to write scripts using AI that actually convert viewers into subscribers. My name is Brian and I've written scripts for some of the biggest educational channels on YouTube, gotten millions of views and with it millions of dollars. So this is a pretty common experience when I talk to most creators using ChatGPT or Claude to write their scripts. It's that they'll input their detailed brief into ChatGPT or Claude and then they'll get terrible output with random information because they'll find that AI adds things that you never mentioned or completely ignores all of the information that you've given it and wrote something completely different. What most people will do here is that they'll blame the AI, but the problem is real deeper. It has to do with how AI fundamentally works. Here's what's crazy. The issue isn't that the AI is stupid. The issue is that there's a hidden constraint built into every AI model that most people don't even know exists. This is how any AI model works. AI models have this thing called a context window. And the context window is the maximum amount of text an AI can process at one time. Think of AI as this sheet of paper. And on this sheet of paper, you can only fit so many words on it. And the words include the input, aka what you tell the AI, and the output, what it outputs. So both your input and your output has to fit this sheet. And most people think that AI thinks in terms of words, but AI actually thinks in terms of tokens. Tokens roughly translates to 0.75 words. And the limits for most AI models out there right now is 100,000 to 200,000 tokens. And if you do some math here, 200,000 tokens translates to about 150,000 words. 150,000 words sounds like a lot, but it isn't actually a lot. 150,000 words pretty much less than a book. So if you want to give ChatGPT a book and ask it to write a script based off the book, for example, a book summary, it won't actually be able to do that because it won't be able to process all of the information in one shot because its context window is too small. So usually when you write a script, you typically give it some kind of context and then you'd give it some kind of research that you've done. And then you'd ask it to, hey, give me this output all at once. You could be you're asking it to write multiple emails at once, or you're asking it to write a full 3,000, 5,000 words script all at once with one prompt. It simply does not have the context window in order to fit all of that information at once. No wonder when you go ahead and try writing your script, it won't be able to output what you want because not everything fits on the context window. Literally anything outside of the context window that you feed into the LLM, it will start ignoring. So the AI models that you're using literally can't read all of your information. It gets cut off. So AI will either forget parts of your prompt as it starts processing parts later. And when AI doesn't have the context, it starts guessing and it starts giving you random stuff. And that essentially is called hallucination. And that's when the AI starts generating false information. And that's when the AI looks into its memory and tries to dig up some kind of information. And it's usually some false information or information that you didn't feed it at all. That's called hallucination. On the other hand, if you try to not cram AI with that much context and you just ask it to write with a simple prompt without giving it enough context, or maybe you don't give it enough parameters. Parameters being telling it, hey, I want my script to be less than 500 words. I want you to, you to use fifth grade language. I want you to write with open loops, transitions, and then you teach it how to write open loops and transitions. If you don't actually feed it that kind of information, then what you'll actually output is something that's a little bit more generic, something that's not written in your voice, something that doesn't have pure logic flows, something that doesn't connect very well. So there comes this dilemma. You either feed it too much information and have a risk of the AI hallucinating, or you feed it not enough information, not enough context, and the AI doesn't really know what to do with the information that you give it. There is no win scenario here. Well, now that you understand why AI fails, here's the good news. There's a simple two-step system that fixes this completely. And the first step might surprise you because it actually involves using AI to use AI better. So solution number one is information management. You don't want to dump all of your information into AI at once. That's a given, right? If you give it too much information and it starts to hallucinate and it starts overloading and it won't be able to give you the context and output that you want, then the natural next step is to not give it as much information. Instead, what you want to do is you want to drip feed it information, right? You want to break a 
large projects with a lot of context into smaller chunks. Because usually when you give a human a task, like for example, when you're telling your editor to edit a video, they don't exactly have to know how the script is written. They don't exactly have to know what kind of camera that you use to record the video with. They don't exactly have to know maybe the file size. But what the editors do need to know is that they need to know what is inside the script so that they can edit according to it. They need to know the exact storytelling style so that it knows what kind of visual effects to add into the edit. What I'm trying to say is that when you're giving someone or an AI instructions, because the AI is pretty much a human being, just a lot faster and you know, has all of these capabilities, you want to give it only the information that it needs. Because most of the time, we're giving it access information that it doesn't need that it will process later in the future. So what you actually want to do is to organize your thoughts and identify what specific information does AI need in order to execute the task that you want it to do. So to contextualize it into YouTube script writing, when you're asking AI to write the hook of the video, all it needs is a brief summary of the exact things you'll talk about in the video, the actual title of the video, so it can validate the click and that's it. You don't have to give it all of this random context in order for it to output something great. So an example of a negative prompt is to ask AI to write your hook, to write your body. I want you to write an amazing viral scroll stopping, thumb holding, algorithm breaking post for me to get millions of views, likes, comments, shares, save, and goes on and on and on. So instead of feeding it this large prompt where I'm telling it to do all of these actions, what I would do is feed it all of the information and tasks that I wanted to execute. And then I would ask it what more information does it need in order to execute the task. It's like having a conversation of it because when you start asking the AI questions, that's when you start to understand its knowledge gaps. And then you can go ahead and fill those gaps for it to execute that task excellently. From there, what I would do is I would prioritize giving it the most important information first in order to execute the task. For example, instead of giving it the entire video brief, I would maybe ask it to write the hook section first and then pay off one, pay off two, pay off three. And then I would ask it to write the open loops and the transitions afterwards. So it's a lot more systematic and it's a lot more easier for the AI to digest and output. And solution number two is to have a quality control system for your scripts, because no matter how good AI is, AI will still hallucinate. Even if GPT-5 right now, it still has the capacity to hallucinate, even if it has all of this memory, because maybe 10, 15, 20 prompts down the road, it forgets your initial input. And because there's still the risk of AI hallucinating, you still want to have a quality control system. And over here, I have a checklist for everything that I look out for. There's the pre-writing foundation check, right? The target audience, do we define it? Do I have the client voice and tone established? Do I have the video goal clarified? Do I have client specific requirements noted? And then I'll look at the hook and structure, right? Does it actually validate the click? Is there a curiosity gap created? Is there stakes established? And many and many more. And I will just look through this entire quality assurance checklist before I go and ship my video and record it because I want to make sure that my script, even if AI is the most top notch script possible. And if you don't want to go over this full entire list, really the key things that you want to look out for is number one, does the output match my input? Number two, are there any random facts that I didn't provide? Number three, is the tone consistent with my brand? Number four, does it flow logically? And number five, are all claims accurate and verifiable? So you can always cross check your actual script with your video brief or cross reference any statistics that you would have fed it to make sure that it actually extracts the correct information. So if you want this specific review checklist that I use for every single script that I write, click the link in the description and I'll send it right over to you. And now that you know exactly what to look out for to make sure that you don't burn yourself when you're using AI to write your YouTube scripts, now it's time to actually put in place a system for writing AI scripts. I'm talking using the right prompts, using the right tools, and giving it the right input every single time so that you can go from idea to a full script in less than 10 to 15 minutes when done right. And that's why I made this video over here that explains my exact AI script writing system that you can steal and just copy for yourself today. Watch it, you won't regret it, and I'll see you in the next one.